Hi students, in this video you are going to learn about chapter 16 continuation. Here you are going to see various electronic payment system. First we are going to see about the EFT, electronic fund transfer. EFT is known by a number of names across countries. So, in the countries, they know about the EFT that is Electronic Fund Transfer. In India, it is called as NEFT. India will NEFT that means National Electronic Fund Transfer. In the United States, they may be referred to as electronic checks or e-checks. So, US la FD solvanga abdina, electronic checks or e-checks abdina solvanga. Electronic, uh, National Electronic Fund Transfer, NEFT, is an electronic fund transfer system initiated by the Reserve Bank of India. RBI in November 2005. So, in the NEFT electronic fund transfer system, RBI da vandhi initiate pannanga eppo abdina November 2005. It is established and maintained by Institute for Development and Research in Banking Technology. So, in the NEFT, yaar establish pannanga, yaar maintain pannanga abdina, IDRBT. NEFT enables a bank customer to transfer funds between two, any two NEFT enabled bank accounts on a one-to-one -one basis. So, number in the uh, payment system use panna abdina, NEFT in the bank la vandhi enable la iruko, and the bank ka matta na number enna panna mudiyo, amount vandhi transfer panna mudiyo. Adha vandhi, rent bank, one bank la inna number in one bank ka vandhi amount vandhi transfer panna. Appa rent bank me NEFT enabled bank ka iruko no. Abdi irunda matta na namla la, uh, account one amount one the one bank lend the inner bank one the transfer panamodio. Either nan sold ranga one to one basis abdin sold ranga. It is done via electronic messages. So the abdi pandranga abdina through the internet. So internet mole mada in the process pandranga. Unlike RTGS. Fund transfer through the NEFT do not occur in real time basis. So RTGS abdin radhi inno or payment system uh, NEFT pating abdina RTGS madri illa ma uh, it cannot uh, it do not occur in real time basis. So real time basis la vande idla vande fund transfer vande naraka adhe abdin solranga. So electronic fund transfer. Uh, EFT is the electronic transfer of money over an online network. So, this is the money that is transferred through the online. So, with the help of a internet technology, they transfer the amount from one account that is the one uh, enabled NEFT account to account bank to another NEFT uh, enabled bank account. The amount sent from the sender's bank branch is credited to the receiver's bank branch on the same day in batches. So, if we amount to transfer the amount, sender bank and the receiver bank the same day transfer amount vandu transfer aidum ipo traditional process la pathinga appadina eppadi nadakumna eft saves the effort of sending a demand draft through post and the inherent delay in reaching the money to the receiver so ipo traditional ah namba enna pannuvom dd vandu namba edupom demand draft adu eduthittu yaarukku vandu namba send pandramo Yarku and the number send Pandramo, Aungaluk and the number Enna Panmo, DD and the post Mulema send Panmo. So it takes some time, Aungaluk poet reach Agar the Kwandi, it takes some time. Banks may charge commission for using this service. So in the DD process ka pathing abdina, banks so enna panwanga, amount one the charge panwanga. EFT is a widely used method for moving funds from one account to another in B2B business models. 
So EFT வந்து mostly எதுக்கு யூஸ் பண்ணுறாங்க அப்படின்னா ஒரு அக்கௌண்ட்லேருந்து இன்னொரு அக்கௌண்ட்டுக்கு வந்து அமௌண்ட் ட்ரான்ஸ் அதாவது ஃபண்ட்ஸ் வந்து ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர் பண்ணுறதுக்கு தான் இந்த எலக்ட்ரானிக் பேமெண்ட் சிஸ்டம் யூஸ் பண்ணுறாங்க ஸோ ஆல்ரெடி யூ லேர்ன்ட் அபவுட் அ மெனி பிஸ்னஸ் மாடல்ஸ் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் அ கம்ஸ் அண்டர் பிஸ்னஸ் டு பிஸ்னஸ் மாடல்ஸ் நெக்ஸ்ட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் ரியல் டைம் கிராஸ் செட்டில்மெண்ட் ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் அனதர் பேமெண்ட் சிஸ்டம் So this payment system particularly used for the settlement of transactions between financial institutions especially banks. So here we are looking at this. They can transfer the amounts between the financial institutions. That is why the two banks will be transferred to the amount. In the system is used. As name indicates, RTGS transactions are processed at the real time. So already number NEFT பார்த்திருப்போம் அது வந்து ரியல் டைம் பேசிஸில் நடக்காது பட் RTGS பார்த்திங்க அப்படின்னா இட் கேன் ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர் த ஃபண்ட்ஸ் ஃப்ரம் ஒன் பேங்க் டு அனதர் பேங்க் ஆன் ரியல் டைம் பேசிஸ் RTGS payments are also called as a push payments. So, in the payment என்ன சொல்கிறாங்க Push payments அப்படின்னு சொல்கிறாங்க யார் வந்து இதை வந்து சென்ட் பண்ணுவான் அப்படின்னா பேயர் ஸோ பேயர்னால் ஹூ இஸ் சென்டிங் த அமௌண்ட் அவங்கள தான் நம்ம என்னென்னு சொல்வோம் பேயர் அப்படின்னு சொல்வோம் ஸோ தே ஓன்லி இனிஷியேட் த பேமெண்ட்ஸ் RTGS payments are generally large value payments that does high volume transactions so ipo RTGS la pathinga appadina they transfer large amount of a data so we can say as a bulk amount of data they can transfer from one uh, bank to another bank the development and the maintenance of NEFT or RTGS systems worldwide is driven primarily by the central bank of a country RBI in India. So, in the rent payment system, you can run and maintain and maintain the RBI. So, Reserve Bank of India is going to maintain the RBI. Real-time gross settlement transactions are unconditional. Irrevocable. So, there are two. One is unconditional, another one is irrevocable. Uh, the beneficiary will receive funds regardless of whether he fulfills his obligations to the buyer or whether he could deliver the goods or perform a service of a quality consistent with the order. For example, if you have two companies, if you have one company, you can purchase goods from the other company. So that time, this company they can transfer a bulk amount to that company so avanga enna panvaanga ivanga enna order pannaangalo ivanga enna service vandu avanga kitta endu edhar paakraangalo ellathai vandu fulfill pannvaanga so idhu dhaan enadhu unconditional transactions next one pathina irrevocable so appadina a correctly processed transaction cannot be reversed and its money cannot get refunded the so called settlement finality so idhil pa irrevocable appadina correct ah vandha amount transfer aanadukapram we cannot able to get it back the amount ஸோ ரிவர்ஸ் ப ப்ராசஸ் வந்து நடக்காது ஸோ இது என்னென்னு சொல்கிறாங்க அதாவது அமௌண்ட் வந்து ரீஃபண்ட் ஆகாது அப்படின்னு சொல்கிறாங்க ஒன்ஸு சென்ட் பண்ணால் சென்ட் பண்ணது தான் ஸோ வி கேனாட் ஏபிள் டு ரீஃபண்ட் த அமௌண்ட்டை ஸோ இது என்னென்னு சொல்லுவாங்கன்னா ஸோ கால்டு செட்டில்மெண்ட் ஃபினாலிட்டி அப்படின்னு சொல்லுவாங்க நெக்ஸ்ட் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் எலக்ட்ரானிக் வேலட்ஸ் ஸோ வேலட்ஸ் அப்படின்னா உங்களுக்கு எல்லாருக்குமே தெரியும் ஜென்ரலாக நம்ம வேலட்ஸ் என்ன பண்ணுவோம் திங்ஸ் வந்து ஸ்டோர் பண்ணுறதுக்கு அமௌண்ட் வந்து ஸ்டோர் பண்ணுறதுக்கு தான் யூஸ் பண்ணுவோம் So, internet also, we have a wallet. So, that's what I'm saying. Electronic wallets, I'm saying. Electronic wallets, e-wallets are electronic purses allow users to make electronic transactions quickly and securely over the internet through smartphones or computers. So, electronic wallets, with the help of that, users can be able to transfer the amount. They can be able to purchase the items through online. So, if you use mobile, you can purchase it. If you use computer, you can purchase it. The electronic wallet function almost the same as a physical wallet in terms of 
that it holds our money so number physical a number wallet vachir nam dina we are using the wallet to hold the money so like that internet liya nama kenna irukku electronic wallet irukku adiyum nama enna pandrom money vandu store panni vekkiradhukku nama use pandrom Electronic wallets were first recognized as a method for storing money in electronic form and became popular because it provides a convenient way for online shopping. So starting la pating abdi na electronic wallet vande na ba money store bani vakir dagda use pano. Adi ka bro, adi romba popular achi. Ye abdi na na ba money vande store bani vakir dha mule ma na ba na panala easy online shopping, online purchasing alam panala. That's why it became became popular with the development of advanced internet the use of electronic wallets turned out as a efficient transaction tool so internet or the usage vanda adhigamaga aga so electronic wallet vanda paathina nariya per vanda use panna start pannanga so adu naal adivila enna aachi it become an efficient tool This is evidenced by the many e-commerce websites that use electronic wallets as a transaction tool. So, if we look at the example of the proof of the proof, if we look at the e-commerce websites, they are having the uh, electronic wallets. So, what do they do? They can store the easy amount of the store. They can be able to do the purchase like that. There are several electronic wallet services that are now widely used. So, so many electronic wallet services are available. Few they given here. PayPal, SBI, Buddy. So, PayPal, SBI, Buddy. So, this is what we are looking at. We have an electronic wallet. So, we are looking at an app called Paytm. So, we are looking at Paytm. We have an electronic wallet. That is why we are going to store the money whenever we need. So, that time we can get the money from the electronic wallet. So, this video you learned about uh, two different payment systems and about uh, electronic wallets. Thank you students.